Brothers, welcome back to Territorial.io. We are starting off today here in Caucasia for a little team action. Now we are in the Magenta team, Magenta Bros Unite. Uh, where are my Magenta Bros? There's another one. That's great. We got another boy down there. There are about 29 players in there, and there's another person right there. So there's a good chance that me and this Magenta player could control the rest of this little part of the map. I'm feeling pretty confident in that as long as he is a decent player we have a really good chance of that we're the only team over here at least in the initial phase we'll peek out see if any other teams arrived does not look like it now the closest team you would say is the red team does have a little bit of a good numbers over here but their positioning is not the best they're kind of too close to the shore and they're gonna have a tough time in the initial expansion phase so this is gonna be our biggest threat is this jjj if you look at him he's holding on to his troops rather well and he's probably about to expand mightily fast so we need to make sure we keep up and outpace him in that and just really keep an eye on his troops we do not want to be caught in a position where he has a ton of troops and starts to attack us so keeping an eye on that we'll keep our expansion up and looking for these weak weak bots to attack and these are all looking like juicy targets let's go ahead and do this now unfortunately based off his positioning and the uh number of you know, purple bots in our way we're not going to be able to lock him in especially going south but we can do that in the north so i'm going to try and do that just a little bit see i think he's going to be going for the same target so while he's doing that i'm going to be focusing in on going south i think that's a good play for us in this kind of strategy so let's go for zoe he's always going to be a big one for us let's go in for cho since he can actually lock us in for that one and we do have some good opportunity to cut him off down south and he is a little bit weak yeah he's only got this one black bot he can go through so this is going to be a good opportunity for us to really limit his potential and that's it we've officially cut him off this yellow player is not going to relent or this yellow bot so we've officially cut him off from down south so that's a really good move for us now we are gonna have to back that up with troops and we are dangerously low on troops so let's try and grab a little bit more land and probably brace for the attack that's gonna happen right there so and now we're looking on the leaderboard he's eighth or third so we can definitely hold on as long as you don't get ganged up on now horton did do a good job of holding his line so we are going to be able to grab a little bit of land off of that let's go ahead and grab the rest of this bot and then we are just going to chill and relax and hopefully not get attacked too viciously as we're not going to be able to rely on our, our buddy's help from over here and he just lets a bunch of land go that's a little bit unfortunate i'm not sure exactly what he was looking at in that exact time frame uh, it'd be great to go into this player hopefully skung will do something because he's getting rather strong your neck is actually you know in second place right now but our leader is on the board he's number one so lula lula is pretty strong doesn't have necessarily all the troops to be able to defend himself i'd love to donate to him to give him just a little bump up unfortunately i'm not in a position to do that just with jjj being so close to us in position so we're just gonna have to wait this out and see if we can grab any bit of land i wasn't able to let's grab this that's gonna not help a ton but it's gonna be something let's try and truce with you i definitely will take that try and truce with this guy as well now we do want to protect horton I, if uh this your neck guy starts to go after horton we are going to respond in kind so now that we have a slight advantage on troops let's go ahead and bump him a little bit and we're probably going to get full sent on in this scenario just based off the fact that jjj's team is pretty low there's no one else around him that could help him out other than maybe this blue player is showing the red angry emoji so we're just going to build up our troops. Horton is pretty strong himself, so he's uh, in 10th place. We're in 9th. Our combined efforts will probably be enough to stop your neck, so let's just kind of wait on that. Now, Lula's been able to build up troops pretty heavily, so he's still in first place, which is really good. So we will try and be supporting him, but as we get to our red interest, we have to attack. So let's start going into this yellow player. He might play spoiler with us, but if Horton... Uh, if we start getting attacked or Horton starts getting attacked, I think our combined effort's perfect. That's exactly what we needed was a little bit of a full send. It fortunately stops before the blue player is able to get involved. So Horton does look like he donated pretty heavily there, but we're going to be jumping up the leaderboard. So we don't necessarily need to... We're not, we wouldn't survive a one-on-one, -on -one, but we will have time to build up, I do believe. So let's keep that in mind. As he starts to go into our teammate, let's go ahead and knock him back and just say no, 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 as we now have the crown. And he does look like he full sent his... Oh, buddy, no, that wasn't the move. Now you gotta leave. <laughs> if you're in this situation and you full sent already, you gotta leave. You gotta leave. Oh, my goodness. Okay, finally, we get a little bit of reprieve there. Now, your neck and I are neck and neck. So he actually has the crown. We are second place. We're trying to get a truce with this guy. He might be interested in truce with this guy. That's really handy that we have this. Lula over here is expanding. So is this guy. So we don't really need to do anything other than slow down your neck. I don't think he's going to be foolish enough to attack us as we have quite a heavy amount of troops. He did get a pretty large donation, but so did we, or we have a pretty high amount of troops. So we can just sit back and wait. 
as long as we don't go into them. So let's keep an eye on this. We just need to hold off for our team as they have a lot of strength over here in this combined area. We are of the top five, three players. So that's working out pretty well for us. So we just need to be patient here. And uh, we will be donating. Let's go ahead and donate to you just a little bit, get you up a low. And so we can save up. Hopefully your neck doesn't realize that this would be a good time for him to attack. This guy does have the crown, which is really good for us. And hopefully they can start using their shared borders, which is honestly not a lot. Who wants me to attack that guy? I'm going to give you a thumbs up. I'm going to tell you to charge. You want to be a part of that? I'll be a part of it, but I am not going in alone. And based off his numbers not moving, I can tell that Skung has not attacked him. But he is attacking now, so that's really good. Let's go ahead and join in the fight. There we go. We did manage to get the crown ourselves. Now, we are at a troop disadvantage, so these kind of attacks need to be spar or spared <laughs> sparingly put, put, put into uh, action. So it's pretty weak now, so let's go ahead and hit him again. And uh, Skung is getting him rather large or hitting him for a good amount so that's working out really well for us we can go ahead and join in again and there we go so we're going to be picking our targets here now i do not like this emoji here i don't know who he's attacking he's going into the red player that's fine so we will continue to attack this blue player now we will more than likely take the full send from this attack just based off previous rivalries no actually he full sends the the turquoise player so we get a lot of land out of this and now we go into a very very healthy first place but we will be taking on two players at once as this blunt Black player does throw out the uh, does throw out the white flag. So what am I going to do here? Uh, he's throwing out the piece. I'm just going to save up my troops a little bit. I'm going to go back into him as he did give us an attack. Now, if Skung was trying to get an alliance with him, I don't. If they both start attacking me, I'm just going to hold hold the line. So look at their their pixels. Skung's got 69,000. BD has got 59. So. We are technically stronger than both, so we can definitely win this. And we do have the help of our purple team over here. So let's see if um, what we can do. Okay, Skung left. That's huge. I don't know. I don't think he full sent us. I think he just donated all of his troops. So we're going to be able to jump in on this player over here who's attacking one of our purple teammates. Maybe able to save that guy. Let's go ahead and see what we can do in that aspect. As we do have quite a, amount of, a large amount of strength. So let's get a big attack in here. And bring him down to about... 4 million now we do get full sent on by this guy so we grab his land and then we just continue onwards with the onslaught as the Sheik empire is rather weak he doesn't have too much help coming from any of his teammates and the purple team is fully in charge of this now no one can really stand in our way as we have very quickly dominated the board all fronts great job to everyone playing on this team everyone definitely held their own which is great to see so let's continue on our attack with the Sikh empire taking him down slowly we don't want to overextend by any means and we don't necessarily have to worry about the crown being taken away from us as we do have quite the lead on our allies so let's just go ahead and wrap things up here he does give us a clap i'm going to give you a heart as you, you got to show appreciation to good sportsmanship i've been trying to do that a lot more too just give a little clap for someone who beats me even if there was by a betrayal this is part of the game so ggs to all involved great game to my teammates and on to the next one all right, let's do something we haven't done in a while, which is the white arena. We're going to be jumping in here, seeing what damage we can do. Now, we do have somebody right on top of us. He fortunately doesn't leave, so let's go ahead and move a little bit more in the center. Now, this is an interesting map. This, this map mode, game mode, I feel like by far is the most luck-based one in the entire game. It is so hard to win this one because everyone gets big, and then people, you know, it's just the alliance of, like, they, you look down wrong or something, and they're just going to attack you. So let's get an early attack in just to get... A little bit more land let's keep feed that again as we need to get the more land more interest and then we'll start going into these weak weak bots so this is a good one and then we can push into you now i don't want to really push myself out too far i do want to be conservative with the troops so let's in fact lower that a little bit because we're going to be trying to attack bots that only have one or two troops and that's going to be our goal for this playthrough so now looking out we do want to not get cut off ourselves and maybe we can encapsulate this guy i feel like that would be a little bit dangerous but let's try and least cut him off in this section and then he can go over i think that'll be the play as we focus in on attacking again those weak weak bots and now as we get a little bit farther in we'll start attacking the ones that have a few hundred instead of a few thousand and i think that'll be a good move for us so we do have about double his trip so we're looking rather strong and we can go ahead and put, do a little bit of a race for the end for the last few bots and that looks out that worked out pretty well now let's go ahead and get some truces out with the boys and see what kind of damage is going to happen here this guy's rather big i'd love to go into him let's see if we can oh, he's got a great target over there my goodness those two are going to be very strong let's go ahead and get a truce with this guy as well and just kind of sit here and wait to see what develops as this guy does have the crown but not by a lot now 
and looking at the neighbors yeah these guys are going to go into these guys are going to go into this guy these guys are going to go down here and unfortunately for us we don't really have that weak targets to go into so we're just gonna have to sit back and wait and build up troops to be a threat that way in fact we could go into gamer but i actually want to go into base demon a little bit more so let's get a big attack in here as i think this would be a good opportunity for us to show our allegiance oh he does leave so we grab all of this land gamers a little bit late on the read on that so we get a ton of land out of that we actually get the crown so we moved up rather quickly now this is a dangerous position for us to be in as we touch three players that uh hey do you remember when i rescued you remember when i defended your honor uh okay so he's not keeping it back so that's a day oh he does give it back okay cool so let's just keep building up troops and be patient here we don't necessarily need to get involved in everything that guy full sent that guy's also getting involved in some dangerous games down there now this guy has the crown which is great so we can just continue to build up troops basically what my goal in is this is to be the second or third strongest player but definitely in pixel wise but definitely with the most amount of troops so let's actually jump in on this unfortunately we do get cut off so that was a little bit of a foolish maneuver now we are in third place so we are where we want to be well we're not able to jump in on this guy who's the last remaining nugget and that guy full sends our boy so let's see what kind of develops from here Maybe we can all gang up on the crown. Hmm. Yeah, let's just kind of be patient here and see what develops. Let's tell everybody what's going on this guy. Hopefully everyone's down for that. Okay, so we were able to bait the crown into going into gamer. Now, Why? the reason why I like that is if he full sends, we're going to be able to grab a lot of this land over here. So let's keep an eye on Simtrek because if he doesn't get involved in this fight, then I don't want to be involved either. So this guy, gamer, is losing a lot of troops. He's already down to half a million and i gotta wait i gotta wait i can't get, afford to get full sent on in this position if i get full sent on from gamer then i'm definitely out of the game so let's just wait on this simtrek needs to make a move if he's going to go for the crown himself now if he starts to go in on the crown then i'm going to join in on the crown as well i don't really want to go into gamer until there's a clear decisive move and we'll definitely take that truce and wherever this guy goes i'm probably going to go next unless gamer full sends them going into that and then we'll reevaluate so we're just gonna be patient here we are definitely not gonna go for the truce that would be a pretty dumb way to end this game so let's see how things develop give gamer some time to build back up his troops as i think that's what simtrex is waiting for so he goes in on the crown but very lightly this guy left let's go let's go let's go let's grab this land see if we can cut off the crown and grab oh that's just working out really well for us as we are able to cut him off we get a ton of land out of this and we don't necessarily move up into a crown position but we are a healthy second place so with that we're going to build up our troops and then see what kind of push we can make into the crown i think that's going to be the way to play this so um now the problem is is we have a truce with shank town shank town might not have a truce with simtrek which means that we might be getting attacked so i'm going to give you the thumbs up and just give me like two seconds and then we'll tell him to charge and then we're in let's go let's go ahead and start the attack on shank town especially when he is not attacking us now he is giving that little questioning thing so we, we could expect this to turn against us here shortly but we are saving simtrex so simtrex is able to build up again now what i'm thinking i'm going to do is just delay my attacks but make them big attacks so let's get down to less than 30 percent and then let's oh actually let's just follow his lead so whenever simtrex jumps in i'm going to jump in now this is the dangerous position as now we have taken the crown so there's a big target over our heads so hopefully simtrex keeps attacking Let's go ahead and give an attack on our own and then save up our troops and see what happens from here. Simtrex is still going in on this guy. That's huge. Let's give him a big heart. We love you, brother. We love that attack. And let's get down to 50 or 0.5% and then we'll attack again. He gives us the heart back. So we hopefully we have a bro here. Now it is going to be dependent on who gets full sent on here, whether it's me or Simtrek. That's going to really determine the winner of this game. But let's just keep pushing our luck, getting to the conclusion of this game either way. It's been a great game. I'm going to say I'm sorry, brother. It had to be done. It had to be done. I had to give myself a chance to win, and I hope he understands that. Nothing personal, but that's just how the game is played. I wish we could have made it to the end, but I didn't need the crown. Here comes the full send. I guarantee you after this emoji, he's going to full send us. He's just deciding on who he's going to send it to. So let's be patient here, and let's go ahead and see if we can bait it out by sending less troops while keeping up our troop count a little bit higher so that if we do get full sent on, it won't be as damaging so let's get all the way down to okay now we can attack again let's keep it up he's giving the laughing emoji because something bad is about to happen but that's okay we might be able to survive it even though me and shanktown are pretty close in pixel count 
or we're pretty close in pixels, but troop count, we're actually not, we're a little bit far off. Now, full send could easily change that, so let's just keep up our attacks. And, oh, he full sends semi! Let's go! So we get all of the lands. That becomes the victory for us. Let's give, oh, Shank, no, I was going to give you a heart. That's okay. We're going to truce with, um, we're going to truce with our boy. We'll give him the, we'll give him the thing. No, 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 you don't got to leave. We'll peace, we'll peace out. It's been a, no! Okay. Well, I'm still going to peace out with you. You have to be my friend. You have to be my friend. I'm just going to peace out, and then we're going to end the game. So let's just wait for that little motion there. But this has been a great game. Let's go ahead and peace. And GG's to all evolve. GG's to my boy. Let's give him another heart on his way out. Kissy face for you, sir. And boys, this has been Territorial.io. Sure hope you liked the video. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up, especially if you made it this far. Yo, it's to me, right? No, I'm just kidding. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new around here, subscribe for more. Put out videos every day. But boys, I will see you in the next one.